Hey guys, so Hammy Ham Hams 221 and James West requested that I do a video on hamster essentials. So the essential things that you would need for hamster is obviously a cage which is big enough. So it's usually recommended that you have a 80 by 50 centimetre cage for a Syrian hamster and a 70 centimetre by 40 centimetre cage for a single dwarf hamster. So once you have the cage sorted, the other things you would need would be a water bottle or a water bowl depending on which one you prefer to use. Um, I personally prefer to use bottles just so that the hamster doesn't constantly throw their bed in in the bowl. Um, you would then need a bowl to put hamster food and treats in. You would need hamster food um, so the food would be depending on what type your hamster is so you can get special food for dwarfs and Syrians. So this one here is the dwarf food. You would then need somewhere for your hamster to sleep. So something like a house. Now this is only really suitable for dwarf hamsters but this is just an example. So most cages you will get a bed with so you usually don't need to worry about buying one of these separately. You would then need a wheel to exercise your pet. So a wheel should be kept in a hamster's cage at all times because if hamsters tend to run quite a lot when we are sleeping. So recommended size wheel for a dwarf hamster is 6.5 inches. Recommended size for a Syrian hamster is 8 inches but most people tend to get an 11 inch wheel because the Syrian hamsters do tend to grow quite big. So this size is approximately 6 inches, maybe 6.5 inches. Um, so always get a wheel bigger than what you need because then it saves you having to buy wheels constantly till your hamster is fully grown. Um, so that way it saves you a lot of money. So you would then need bedding for your hamster's cage. So for bedding I can really recommend the Wilkinson's Paper Flake Pet Bedding. It is such an amazing bedding and it's really great value for money. So please do not use the fluffy wool bedding because of that is bad for hamsters and it is not safe. So please stick to the sort of paper based pet beddings because of wool can cause a lot of problems with hamsters. It can get wrapped around their legs and it can cut off the blood circulation and if hamsters swallow it they can't digest it which means it can cause them to pass away or something. Um, so please stay away from the woolly bedding as much as possible. Um, just don't use it. Um, if you're struggling to find bedding use toilet paper. Um, that is perfectly safe and you generally have that in the house all the time anyways. So you're going to need some bedding for their bed. You are next going to need something for the floor of their cage. So you can get things like Fitch, Carefresh, wood shavings, um, whatever suits you really. So this is just the softwood bedding by Bob Martin. So if you're going to use wood shavings, please make sure they are kill and dried. Because if they are not kill and dried, they can be dangerous for hamsters. Um, because if they have chemicals in them and basically the kill and dry process removes these chemicals which makes them safe for hamsters to use. So please always check they are kill and dried before buying them. So you're going to need something to put on the bottom of the cage. You are then going to need cleaning supplies. So things such as cage cleaner to disinfect the cage with. You can also use like hot soapy water if you want to as well but I really like using specialised cage cleaner because then I know that my cage is nice and clean and it's also safe for the pets. So this is just the My Little Friend Bob Martin one. You can also get Johnson's one which is really good. Um, you'll need some bin liners for 
getting rid of the bedding. Um, you also may want a potty for your hamster. Um, this is because of hamsters can be potty trained, which means it saves you a lot of time when it comes to cleaning the cage because if if a hamster's potty trained then they will generally use their toilet all the time which means you don't have to clean their cage out as much. So in the potty people generally put generally put either sand or potty litter in there. Personally I use sand which just looks like this just because of it is so much cheaper than potty litter and I can get really big bags of it for three pound from Argos. Um, so I use children's play sand and it's non-toxic meaning that it is safe for hamsters and it saves me a lot of money so it also means that the sand um, can be used for the hamsters bathing themselves as well because of dwarf hamsters do need access to sand where they can bathe themselves because of otherwise their fur will go greasy looking and it will look very scruffy so if you give them sand it will help to keep their fur nice and clean and yeah so basically you're going to need some sand and potty litter um, if you want to potty train your hamster most people tend to not potty train it but it just means that if you do potty train it's easier when it comes to cleaning the cage you are going to need a variety of toys so things such as puzzle playgrounds coconut huts, um, cardboard boxes, tubes, just generally different enrichment for your hamster because if they do tend to get quite bored so you need to offer them a variety of different things to do. So the last thing that you may need is an exercise ball. Now not everyone uses these, personally I don't use them that much, um, but if you do not have a safe environment for your pet to run around freely in then I can recommend a hamster ball or even a playpen which I just have down there um, just so that your pet can run around safely within your bedroom or your house just so that they can't get into any holes which there may be say like in the floorboards and yeah um, so I can either recommend the ball or the playpen, both are pretty good. Um, the last thing that I can recommend is treats. So I have like a ton of treats all down there for the pets. Um, now you can either make your own treats or buy them from a shop. I do like to make my own treats but it can be like quite expensive sometimes when you constantly make your own treats. So a variety of treats such as dog biscuits, um, just a varied sort of treats really. Dog biscuits are really good for keeping hamsters teeth down um, and then you have obviously treats such as yoghurt drops which is designed for hamsters um, you have so many different treats out there but one thing you have to make sure is if you buy dog treats or cat treats for your hamster you have to make sure they do not have any garlics, onions um, or spices in them because if they are bad for hamsters so you have to make sure they don't have anything like that in them before buying them but most dog and cat treats are suitable for hamsters um, also you should check on the back of the packets um, of treats which are sold for hamsters because of some of the time they tend to contain things which aren't suitable for hamsters and basically the people who have made them haven't really done their research so always check the back of the packets when buying treats because of I know a lot of people who have bought treats for rabbits and the treats aren't safe for rabbits so they've had to like throw them away which is a waste of money really so always check the packets for treats and um, yeah I think that is pretty much the basic supplies you would need for a pet hamster. I don't think I've missed anything out of this video. Um, so yeah, I hope this was useful. Thank you for requesting a video. I'll put both your names down below in the description bar. And don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye.